We're following up uh, today with the question we started with yesterday, which is how can I know God's will for my life? And uh, as I said yesterday, this is a very common question, and especially uh, among uh, younger people, uh, younger Christians, who uh, really want to do God's will. I remember when I was in Bible college and we were th uh, and, uh, talking with my friends and, and preparing for the future. Uh, a number of us had general ideas, anyway, of what we wanted to do when we got out of school. Some didn't. Some had just gone to, to the college uh, because their parents had sent them there or they needed to... Uh, they wanted to get some Bible prep, but they didn't know if they wanted to be a, a pastor or a missionary or a layman or work at, as an engineer or a doctor. These, these kinds of questions, they, they were still processing. And I was suggesting that most 18 to 23-year-olds are in that process. It's almost rare, actually, for people to, to know when they're that young what they're, they want to do and end up doing it. So, so if you're in that category, don't, don't let that bother you too much. Press on. Uh, follow the Lord's will in, as outlined in Scripture, and ultimately, I think you will know the direction you want to go. But that's what we're talking about this week, and we're going to talk about it more today. Uh, as we as we do that, I want to uh, say that the question we're asking, how can I know God's will for my life, is a question, uh, we're talking about the specific will, choices that we need to make, uh, we're asking a question that isn't really addressed very thoroughly in Scripture because uh, we're looking for specific answers to specific issues, and the Scriptures do not do that very often. There, I think there's a common view held by a lot of Christians is that God was speaking to His people, especially His, his main leaders like Moses and, and uh, Abraham and David and, and the apostles and so forth, that he was speaking to them all the time, every day, about everything. And yet, when we actually go back and look at the Scriptures, that is simply not the case. Uh, now, it is true, and by the way, I've documented these kinds of things I'm going to talk about today in my book, Is That You, Lord? And uh, so as I, as I talk about this today, this is all documented, but you'll find it rarely that God comes to somebody and says, do this or that. He does use his prophets, the prophets were given specific words from God to tell the people, and sometimes exactly what they were to do was given by the prophets. But the individuals, the normal individuals, even the, the leaders of, uh, of God's people in the Old and New Testament, rarely, if ever, heard from the Lord. There's really only a, hand, only a handful that did, that did that. Now, Moses heard probably more than anybody. But even David only heard, as far as Scripture records, a few occasions when God spoke to him. Uh, others, not at all. Big big names, uh, judges and, and military leaders and, and uh, 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 people in the New Testament. Uh, we don't hear of them specifically hearing from God, that God spoke to them in any way. So it was rare when God did so. He did so on occasion. But this was uh, it, uh, mainly through the prophets and occasionally to individuals, but it was rare. Abraham, the, the father of the nation of Israel, would only be um, hear from God. He would hear from God on this occasion and not hear another word for 14, 15 years. So we're thinking Abraham is hearing God all the time. He's not. It would, it would be years between times when he would hear God speak. And when, he, when God did speak to his people, he spoke to them mainly about the big picture of the redemptive program that he had in mind. He would speak. Uh, he would speak about his the direction for Israel, or or setting up the, uh, the the kingdom of David that would lead to the kingdom of that Christ would one day rule over, and so forth. These big pictures. It, he would speak to to uh, the prophets, and he would speak to the apostles like Paul mainly about the redemptive program, the importance of spiritual things, not so much about the specific things that most people are looking at today, such as what house to buy, what job to take, what car to buy, and, and so forth, or even what wife to, to marry or husband to marry. Those were not issues that were ever or very, very rarely ever addressed. And so when we're looking for God to give answers to those things, we need to go back and look at what Scripture actually does what Scripture actually says, what Scripture, what God did with people during those times. 
Uh, let's not look for things that God isn't uh, telling us he's going to give us. So does that mean that we can have, have, cannot have direction from God on making choices that honor him, uh, that would be in his will? Well, that certainly is not what I'm saying. What I am saying is what I'll talk about tomorrow. So please join us tomorrow to, to follow up on this.